guys, Marcus here from cpanelman.com, where you can get tons of training videos, WordPress tutorials, cPanel videos, hosting, and more. And what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to upgrade your WordPress account to version 3.0. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to show you two ways to do it. The first way to do it is on one of my newer sites, which has an automatic update button. Now, some of the older servers will not allow you to automatically update. But we're in luck on this one. Um, I use HostGator, which you can go and get on cpanelman.com. You can sign up for a HostGator account. They always keep you updated with the you know, updates of WordPress and stuff like that and the one-click install, which is really, really cool, really, really easy to use. So using the one-click upstall, if we want to upgrade to WordPress 3.0, which just came out today, we can just click on Please Update Now, and it'll take it through it. It'll say uh, Upgrade Automatically and we will be ready to go instantly just like this okay there you can see that we are now ready to go we're all set everything's working and we are upgraded very very simple now here's what the new uh, control panel of WordPress 3.0 looks like and from what I've seen you can do a lot of cool stuff with this uh, you could change the way it looks you can change your colors everything like that so it's really really cool so that is the first way that you would upgrade uh, the easy way that you would upgrade now let's go into the hard way if the um, automatic upgrade does not work Okay, so now if you want to upgrade and you can't use the Please Update Now button or you have a really old version of WordPress, what you want to do is you want to go over to my site at cpanelman.com. I got all the instructions for you. And what you want to do first is click on the Download WordPress 3.0 button. That will take you right to the place where you can actually download WordPress 3.0. And what you want to do is click this and save the file it should come up automatically we're gonna save this file to our documents here okay so we'll go ahead and save it right here to our documents and then when it's done we'll open the folder and extract it and get started with the rest of it now one thing I do want to state is that before you start upgrading you should back up your database again go over to cpanelman.com and I have some videos there on how to back up your database it's really really easy there's these there's even some free plugins you can use to do it or you could just use your host so again go to cpanelman.com and you can get those right now it looks like WordPress has finished downloading so we'll just go ahead and open this we'll hit open folder and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and extract this right here so we'll just go ahead and do extract to and this should work here Okay, here we go. It's going to go ahead and extract that for us. And most uh, Windows computers have an extracting um, program, so you shouldn't need to get one. But if you do, you can get WinZip or something like that. I think they have a free trial. So we'll wait for this to uh, extract. And while we're waiting for this, I'm going to open my FTP uh, program. And my FTP program, for those who don't know, is basically the program that'll take something from my computer and put it on my website. So we're going to open that up while we're waiting for this. Right like this. Okay. And we're going to put in cpanelman.com. We're going to put in our username and our password. Okay. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see it here. Now what we want to do is when we get in here we want to click on www because that's our web server and then we want to click on uh, basically this has WordPress installed on the root domain and you can notice because it says WP admin, WP content and WP includes. So if you don't have it installed on your root directory you would just go to the folder where your blog is installed and you'll see these uh, three things as well. So let's go ahead and see how our extracting is coming along looks like it's almost done okay so now we can hear see here that this is extracted and we can see all the stuff and you can see that it actually matches the stuff that's on our host now what we want to do is uh, first off we want to delete the WP admin and WP includes folders on our server okay so we'll just hit delete like this 
and it'll take a second it'll delete all that stuff right like that all right looks like it's almost done here okay so once you're done deleting that you just take your other one your new WP admin and drag it right over here and it'll upload the new files for you really really easy um, so it'll just go ahead and upload each of those files and then when we're done we're gonna do the same thing with WP includes now you don't want to do anything in the WP content folder um, you don't want to delete that you have to keep that the same way because that's where all your plugins and your content and your themes and everything like that are so you don't want to delete that stuff uh, otherwise you'll mess your blog up so be very very careful with that um, again before you do this make sure you do a backup of all your databases and um, all your other stuff make sure you have backup copies of all of that because if you do accidentally delete something that's not going to be fun if you don't have a backup so all right so this one's uh, going ahead and uploading and next up we will do the includes one so now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with WP includes we'll just delete it like this hit yes and it'll delete that for us and then when it's done we'll upload our WP includes uh, from the download that we just downloaded the WordPress 3.0 so really really easy to do as you can see it takes a little bit to uh, actually have these things delete but once it's done it's done so depending on your speed of your server and the speed of your internet will depend that okay so now WP includes drag it right over here right like that and we'll wait for that to upload okay so that took a little bit but now we're good now what we want to do if you want to do the content you would just open the folder and replace just the individual parts so basically the only thing in your content folder is the index file which is the same as this one you'll notice that the plugins are pretty much the same as what you got in previous versions so you don't need to do that and the theme they have one new theme so if you want that the way you would put that in there is just you know navigate to the themes folder and upload it right here same way just drag and drop it right there okay but we're not going to do that we're going to leave the contents folder alone which is what I recommend because you can get themes anywhere those are easy and what we're going to do now is we're going to take all the files that are below here just the files not the folders and we are going to upload these right here and we can replace everything that we have so far so here we go we replace that and it'll replace all those files for us really really easy to do it should be quicker than the other ones here then what you want to do after everything's uploaded and those regular files are replaced and everything like that is you go to your site in our case it's cpanelman.com slash wp dash admin again if your blogs in a different folder it would be you know your site.com slash folder slash WP admin if it's on the root it would just be your site.com slash WP admin which is the same as where you go to you know do all the admin stuff on your blog so we're gonna go here and it'll ask us to do a database upgrade we'll click on this and there we go so now we're set to go we log right into our WP admin okay and now we have version 3.0 so I hope you enjoyed this video for more training hosting tools and other stuff to make your WordPress blog really really great go to cpanelman.com I got tons of tools tons of videos and I even have some stuff to teach you how to make money with your blog so again I'm Marcus from cpanelman.com and I'll see you in the next video